Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting Marathi from the Daughters of Cain in the Age of Sigmar game. And as you can see here, we have the face already painted on this model, and so now we're going to work on her hair, which is a whole bunch of big pythons coming out of the back of her head. To get a starter, we're going to use some Sotek Green. It's a really nice color here. And with judging by our overall color scheme, uh, I prefer this color over you know, kind of doing the atypical kind of green snakes. Use a bit of Lamy and Medium, just help thin it out. And of course we begin just applying a nice even base coat to the model. And of course, because we have it thinned out, uh, we may have to apply more than one layer onto these areas, but it's pretty straightforward. We just simply work our way around, getting into all the little nooks and crannies, uh, and even fill in the uh, mouth spaces of the, the snakes and such. But otherwise we're pretty much just going around and blocking in all this color onto these areas here. And again, as I mentioned, we may have to go over more than once on a lot of these areas just to get a nice smooth coverage. Next, we're gonna use some Sotek Green and some Temple Guard Blue. We're gonna slap these down onto the palette and we're gonna grab two brushes here and we are gonna do some two brush blending just because it's gonna be nice and fast. So I'm taking this, the Temple Guard Blue, laying it on the, uh, starting at the head and then drawing it out towards the end of the body. And then I have another brush loaded with some uh, Sotek Green and then I begin blending that back towards the head allowing more of that Temple Guard blue to remain on the head. And as you can see here, we simply just uh, work our way back and then bring the color forward and get a nice little transition to occur along each of the little uh, snake bodies. And of course, as we do this, we are being mindful not to hit any other areas, especially when we get close to the face, anything like that, because we really don't want to ruin any of that previous effort that we had done with that. And so as you can see, it's pretty straightforward here. We just simply lay a little bit of the color down and then really quickly with another brush, we simply just blend the other color back into it and just create a transition. Really, we want more of that blue to remain on the head, but we want to have that undertone of uh, transition occurring uh, on the main bodies themselves. Uh, at least onto the uh, main parts um, connecting up to the back of the head. Now, the back of the head, I'm not too worried about uh, building up any highlights in that area. Just really, it's more along towards the uh, heads of the pythons. I really want those to stand out. Next is Sotek Green, and we're going to grab some Screaming Skull. Now, initially, I was going to two brush blend these on the bellies of the uh, snake. Now, uh, starting at the bottom of the uh, of the jaw, like underneath the uh, the chin, as it were, and drawing the color back towards um, the uh, rest of the snake, and then just kind of having this transition occurring on the uh, the bellies. But I really wasn't liking how it was going here, and I got to the second guy here, and I was laying the color down, and I just wasn't liking how it all was looking, and it just wasn't really contrasty enough. And so I decided to grow, grab a little bit of um, Sotek Green into the Screaming Skull, and then just begin, and thin it out, of course, and then just begin laying it onto the uh, belly scale, starting from the chin, and then just drawing backwards. And so I pretty like that uh, look a lot better, and so I just continued on with that, as it were. I just really wasn't, uh, you know, feeling the vibe from that one and so um probably should have used something a little bit lighter than so tech green or something like that just to bring those colors but i found that just uh, neatly coming in and getting the belly scales and concentrating mostly on uh the belly scales that run uh, and of course you got to be mindful also too because this the snake's bodies are turning and so you'll notice that the that you have to uh, change which which area the um the, the belly scales are Again, it's not too big a, a transition in there, but again, it gives us enough bit definition that uh, you know we have some separation from those areas. Kalia Green Shade is next. This is a fantastic color for using on top of these uh, turquoise. And basically, we're just gonna lay this on somewhat heavily. I begin at the head and then just begin drawing the color back towards the scales. And of course, I just wanted to build up in the scales and really kind of pick out that texture anywhere where it kind of pools up a little too heavily. I draw it out and uh, use it elsewhere. So I'm not allowing it to pool up too heavily anywhere. As you can see, some areas might look a little bit heavy and I go back and fix those. As again, I wanna have more of a uniform kind of shading across the model. And of course, once that is dry, we're going to come back in with some Kalia Green Shade, and basically we're just going to do the base of the uh, the snake bodies themselves, but basically where they connect up to the back of her head. I just want some deeper color back there. Again, just get uh, some more contrast, because when we get to the crown, uh, we want to have some more, uh, some more contrast in that regards. 
Temple Guard Blue, all on its lonesome this time. We'll slap a little bit onto our palette. We're going to grab our medium dry brush here, and basically we are going to dry brush the uh, snake heads now. And this is a very, very light, light dry brush here, so make sure that you have very little paint remaining on the, on the bristles. Concentrating mostly right at the nose and the, and the top of the head, and then drawing just a little bit back along the body. Again, it, it meshes well with the initial uh, transition we had created earlier, and so now we're just catching just the high points. Really, the Kalia green shade brought that transition down a bit, and so now we're just reinforcing that uh, Temple Guard blue with uh, this dry brushing step here. Again, this is just catching those high points and really bringing out the texture. Next is a skink blue. This is a dry, and of course this is uh, designed for dry brushing. And then very lightly here, I'm just concentrating just at the, the snout and maybe just that high bump on the back of the, um, on the uh, snake's body as it were, closest to the spine. Again, just bring some, just a bit of that, not too much, really concentrating mostly just at the face of the, uh, of the uh, vipers themselves. Just to really kind of bring that uh, color differential along there and that we have a nice gradient of color moving along the uh, snakes themselves. Screaming Skull is next, and this is just simply to pick out all the little fangs on these guys. Again, we're just going to go through because, we, again, we allowed a lot of that clear green shade to remain within the mouths. It gives us a lot of uh, deep color in that area, so we don't have to really, really worry about, uh, you know, picking out the... Um, the inside of the mouth we could go in with like a red or something like that but i didn't really feel it was necessary and uh again you can just simply come in with the uh, fang here and you can see how again it really makes the um, the mouths pop as it were evil sun scarlet is next and again we're going to grab our detail brush for this and we're just simply going to dot the eyes with this now we could go a little bit further and hit these eyes with, let's say, a little spotty yellow or bright orange or something like that and really kind of brighten them. But if you want to take it that step further, feel free. Uh, but I didn't really feel it was necessary. And just a nice deep red here in the eyes, uh, give them that nice sinister look. And that'll be pretty much it. Again, you can go a little step further and go a little bit brighter on those eyes, but I didn't really feel it was necessary. But that is it. That is the snake hair of Morathi. Next, we're going to work on our crown. Well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.